Welcome to the challenge round, and this will be the final challenge round of the 1980 decade challenge rounds. Wow, excitement. We have Mike Christian versus Jeff King. This is a good one, ladies and gentlemen. This is a very difficult pitcher to judge from on the part of Jeff King. In fact, we're not even going to count this one. We're actually just going to show these gentlemen. Jeff King, there is no way I could find a picture of him straight on for a front relaxed pose. And he's all tilted to the side. You can't see his lats or anything. And look at Mike Christian. Just looks like he's ready to fly. Anyway, this is, an ex this is going to be a good one. Let's have a look at these two nail a couple of rear front double doubles. Of course, the rear double doubles will be later. This is an awesome matchup. The, the upper body is very close, very close. There's similarities and there's differences between these two. A little bit of the whole apples versus oranges thing. I'm going to go with Jeff King just based on the, the symmetry here. Or no, sorry, the proportions, rather. I find Mike Christian's arms are too large. I know that sounds crazy and absurd, but... His arms look way too big to match his legs. And when you look at Jeff King's legs, they just look more of a match to those arms. I'm sorry I could understand how some people could think Mike Christian would be the winner of this one, but in my opinion, Jeff King's got this one. But uh, holy old Samoli, there are some poses to come. Now let's have a look at the front lat spread. And wowzers! What a couple of fantastic, just world class, these two in the front lat spread. A little bit of a difference there. I like the silhouette and flair of Mike Christian, but the crispness, just the conditioning and the crispness goes to Jeff King. I think overall, eh, it's, a, it's almost a toss up, but we're going to go with Jeff King. Those legs, look how crisp they are. The cuts are just deep, a mile deep. Anyway, we're going to go with Jeff King, and we're going to carry on with this tournament. And Mike Christian is carrying on with a big win. He is the one that is more crisp in this one. Wow, they're both fantastic in this pose. What a challenge round. These two, any one of these two, whoever wins this one is going to go far. There's a prediction. Anyway, let's uh, carry on without further ado. And this here side tricep, I will say I am not impressed. Every other pose I was very impressed, but first of all, uh, Jeff King's not hitting this to spec. And then Mike Christian's just, the angle's all tilted all wrong. I guess really I'm just going to go with who I am more impressed with in just the tricep itself. Jeff King's is ripping straight and yes, feathering everywhere. But Mike Christian's is bigger, boom, boom. So anyway, Mike Christian gets the point. So let's carry on. Uh, the back shots. A couple of rear double doubles. I believe Mike Christian is the winning man in this one. Although Jeff King is not without his charms, not without his charms at all. I believe he might have even have a slight advantage as far as the conditioning is concerned. I'm not so sure. Hard to tell with these pitchers. But I do know one thing. Mike Christian, boom, boom. Look at those big delts and biceps and that big thick lats. Wow. Jeff King might have an advantage in, as far as the traps are concerned, though. Either way, it's a tight matchup. Next pose. It is in my firm opinion that Mike Christian has a better back than one Jeff King, although Jeff King does have a decent back development. Mike Christian, not the best in the world, but very large flare, nice V taper. Perhaps not the best in the lower lat meat as I like to call it. But his traps here, they, they may be the smaller of the two, but much more three-dimensional and much, much more substantial in this pose, especially. 
And in the outer silhouette there, his delts are much better. But anyway, it doesn't look good for Jeff King heading into the final pose. This, the most muscular. And each one of these men looks dandy Jim dandy even. But what am I to do, ladies and gentlemen? What am I to do? The upper body, in my opinion, goes to Mike Christian. I much more appreciate the crab pose. But the arms and stuff, I will say. There is a case for King winning in the upper body. But in my opinion, no. But when you look at the legs, what do you do? I mean, King has it all day long, just all day. Wow, what lag development. But... As at the end of the day, I'm tabulating the points here, and there's just no way King can get himself out of the deficit that he is in. So you know what? I'm going to give him this one. I'm going to give him this one as a gift. But as I said, it's far too late for Jeff King, so here is your winner of the final challenge round of the 1980s decade, Mike Christian. Mike Christian is now the final installment in the Gladiator Round Tournament.